and thank you phone for giving up on me hmm, i'm back um and he's going off uh, which is great thank you Stephen. so um i'm gonna try something um to give it a bit more protection which is stoma paste the thing i have now discovered with stoma paste is you've got to warm it up to get it out of the tube i've got sore joints in my fingers so i've been finding that hard my new thing you pop your paste in a little bit of warm water. Done. Warms the thing up for you. It's not got into the tube. I just tried it in the sink in the warm water. It was like a miracle. Um, so I've worked out how you get the stuff out without having to squeeze it. Oh my goodness gracious me. Without having to squeeze it and like battle with it. This stuff stinks. This stuff is not very nice. Um, it, it's strain adhesive, doodah, what's it, majiggy? Convitec paste, but it heals. Um, problem is it's got alcohol in it. So this right here is gonna blow and hurt. But I'm kind of thinking, because he's going off so much, I'm having to kind of rub off my protective spray um, over and over again, so it's not working. So I'm thinking, put a big, thick layer of protection on instead. Here it goes. And that. Oh my God. And it does sting. <laughs> Um, and hope for the best. Um, this, this is, yeah, not not for the faint-hearted. I'm gonna be honest, because this really hurts. You gotta do what you gotta do. So he's gonna have a little bit of stuff. So I'm hoping now, because that's hopefully I won't have to rub that off, because hopefully it's gonna stop for like two seconds. Please, please. Um, um, so yeah, I've waited a minute and kind of dried it a bit, and I'm now doo -doo -doo, desperately trying to get this um, doo -doo -doo, before he goes off again. So he's got the paste on, which has stopped hurting now. You know, it's worth a little bit of pain just to get that barrier on. So paste as well as this funky piece of funk. Stretch your tiny bit, pop it on. Oh, marvellous. So you can see that's quite good. So this one's not a spray one, this is a model one. Quick, 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 quick. Now I'm gonna get this. <sighs> I'm a little bit concerned that I haven't managed to get all the output off before getting all this on. Um, because he was decided he was gonna have a moment, um, I did wash and then reapply the barrier spray and then the paste. But there is a chance under here a bit has kind of dribbled and then I kind of popped it all on top of the dribble which is going to make it go a bit cray cray um I can't use that phrase crazy too old for that phrase crazy um so I'm going to change it again in like a day maybe two days um so I can give it a proper wash again do it not as one of the time it's silly time do it right uh, in the morning rather than halfway through the day we're in like the afternoon now so it's like two o'clock 1.30. Uh, normally it'd be better to do it by 9.10 after it's done. It's morning blurred bile, which it does every morning, which a lot of ostomates seem to experience. Um, it does some like random bile explosion for no reason. Um, so after the bile explosion, um, I should really be doing it then. Um, but today we're, we're borrowing a dog, so I have to try and sort the dog out first. Um, so I waited like a fool. So now what I'm doing is putting on my Pel Pelican Contour Flange Extender. Um, they're very good. They're very good, um, but they don't seem to be 100% sticking for moi at this bit. So they're all right at the bottom, but the bit where I bend over all the time and I crease here, um, I crease, the crease seems to kind of, um, what's the word, kind of put the, the sticky off staying. Um, so I'll show you, I'll stick it on, um, like so. Sorry my videos are so long, I, I can't, I'm not very good at this whole editing thing, so I try and do one big video and stick it on, rather than what I should be doing, which is sticking a load of little videos together, then cutting out the crap uh, that I talk about and only putting in the important stuff, but I tried that and I'm not very good, so it just has to be one long blah, 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 blah. 
Um, so here, you can see, anyway, I bend. I got like a thousand belly flips because of my scarring and because I'm not going to six pack or anything like that. So they're not going to be firm. I put on a silly voice when I'm embarrassed in case you couldn't tell. So they're not firm. Um, so I, I belly flub and this bit peels off. And it's not like it's going to fall off. It just bugs me a bit because it's flapping down and then the flap gets a bit of fluff on it and then it looks like you're not really clean. So... Ah, that's the problem. Um, but I've run out of the new ones that I'm trying, which is the trio. Um, the trio, again. Their edges seem to be really good. They seem to not fall off. I don't think. I might be allergic, which is why I've got some soreness. But I might not. It might just be my... You know, we've had a, had a stressful time recently anyway with life in general being a bit blue. So it could be stress-induced skin problems. It could be trio-induced skin problems. Um, so yeah, um, I am done now. This is me trying something new for sore skin, just to sum up. Um, where, you know, we're looking at Crohn's, we're looking at Ostomies, we're looking at... Blech. On my next one, I had an idea about something to do with like the hints and tips. That was the one. So um, on the next video, I'm looking at drawer organizers. All of you have drawers full and full of stuff. My aim is to look in my drawer. I'm gonna be really honest with you right now. Look in my drawer. I don't know how to do it. I have to do it like that. And show you the mess. Woo! So what I'm gonna do is organize the mess in the next one and kind of looking to cheap ways of making a drawer nice and tidy and stopping the stress of stoma mess. I think that was a nice rhyme to end on there. So yeah, we'll do that next time. I am gonna get dressed. Thanks guys.